hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today i'll be sharing with you how i make this yummy and delicious french toast i tell you this is so so yummy so let's get started first we'll be using bread obviously we need bread for this recipe so this is a twist challah bread but you can use any kind of bread the most preferable bread to use is actually brioche but i couldn't find brioche anywhere in the store you can also use regular bread, potato bread, or semolina bread for this recipe. So I'll also be using some eggs for this recipe, some cinnamon, vanilla extract, and also some half and half. You can substitute milk with your half and half if you prefer. I'll also be needing a baking dish for this recipe and a knife. So I'm going to go ahead to cut the bread into the slices that I prefer. I like them a bit thick and not too thin. The ideal thickness for a French toast is usually about half to three quarter thick. If, if it's too thin, the bread will not be able to hold together and it will get very, very mushy when it's dipped into the egg custard mixture. In a baking dish, I'll be cracking three eggs. Be careful when you're cracking your eggs, do not be like me. I actually had some eggshells in my mixture, so I went ahead to just get that off. Next, I'll be breaking down the eggs to actually remove any lumps. You do not want any lumps in your egg mixture. You want to be able to combine all the ingredients properly. I'll also be adding one third cup of half and half or milk and a tablespoon of sugar. I'll also add 1 a teaspoon of cinnamon, a splash of vanilla extract and a pinch of salt. You want to mix all this together. Ensure you thoroughly combine to remove any lumps. Next, you set your gas cooker on a medium to low heat and then add unsalted butter. The reason why I'm using unsalted butter is because I already added salt in my previous mixture. Ensure the butter is on all sides of the pan. Next, I'm going to be dipping or soaking my bread into the mixture. You want it to soak properly and then drain off any excess that you might get. And I'll be placing onto the pan. You want to allow this to brown for a couple of minutes. When it's browned enough, you can flip it onto the other side. Next, I'll be repeating the same steps, dipping my bread in the egg custard mixture and placing onto the pan, allowing them to brown on both sides. When I see that I no longer have butter on the pan, I then add some more butter. I repeat the steps again until I no longer have challah bread slices. This recipe was so so good and the outcome was so so delicious. So please let me know if you tried this recipe and if you have any questions. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share if you found this helpful. And if you want me to make more recipes, please let me know. And thank you for watching again and I'll see you on in my next video. Till then, love and light.